While reading was still a favorite pastime of many Americans, movies were gaining in popularity. Audiences thrilled at the comedies of Charlie Chaplin, the sweeping romances of Rudolph Valentino, and the freewheeling flapper antics of Clara Bow. Movies were a reflection of society's attitudes, but more and more, styles and attitudes were being influenced by the cinema. In 1927, sound was introduced to the movies, and their popularity grew even further. The 1920s was also known as a golden age of sports. College football was at a peak in popularity, and professional football was rapidly catching on. Red Grange, a fullback from the University of Chicago, was called the Galloping Ghost for his speed and agility, running 3,637 yards between 1923 and 1925. His fans followed him closely when he joined the Chicago Bears in 1925, further increasing the popularity of professional football. The sporting event of the decade occurred in boxing, when undisputed heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey lost his title to Gene Tunney. Dempsey had held the championship for seven years prior to his defeat. Spectators who couldn't make the event, which took place in Philadelphia to commemorate the city's 150th anniversary, listened to it at home on their radio receivers. Women, too, participated in the golden age of sports. Gertrude Ederle became a national sensation when she swam the English Channel in the summer of 1926. She became the first woman to swim the channel, and she topped the record set by a male by two hours. But the greatest luminary of the golden age of sports emerged in baseball. George Herman Ruth, nicknamed Babe Ruth, began his career with the New York Yankees on January 3, 1920. During his first year, he hit 54 home runs. In 1923, Ruth had a 393 batting average and was named MVP of the American League. That same year, Yankee Stadium was opened in the Bronx. It was referred to as the house that Ruth built. With the assistance of the Sultan of Swat, the Yankees won six pennants and three World Series during the 20s.